Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. Today I want to do a deconstruction of the fill surface within CATIA and NX. This is NX11 and this is CATIA R26 or, or uh, B5-V6 R2016. So both of them have fill and they both operate very similarly but uh, there's some things that this one does that this one doesn't do but there are tools in V5 that do replicate what NX does. So we'll kind of get into those. So here I'm going to come in, do my fill, and pretty simple, straightforward, pick my curves. I can preview. There's my surface. Now, you can also do inner boundaries with uh, V5 fill. Great. They've added it in a couple of revisions ago. Super powerful. It's nice. You no longer have to split out an inner boundary, so you can just pick inner boundaries and pick what you want as an inner boundary. What you can do is uh, you can also do supports on all sides. So if you want to apply tangency or curvature to an adjacent surface, you can do that. Now, passing elements. You'll notice that I can pick a point for my passing element. Now, I can clear that. I can also pick this curve for my passing element. Okay. If I pick the point and the curve for passing elements, you'll notice that it goes through all of those elements. So whatever I want is a passing element I can set up and the system will create the surface and it'll pass through those uh, elements, those points. I've used this rarely. I have in the past. And uh, when I get into explaining the complexity of the surface, you'll see why. But uh, again, it does a good job, makes a, a relatively clean surface. Um, again, if I don't uh, have a four-sided surface, I typically try to go in and make a four-sided surface and then trim away what I don't need or split away what I don't need. Um, and the reason behind that is, is when I look at the actual complexity of said surface, you'll see how complex that surface is. Okay, so it extends out beyond the boundaries. This would be uh, the actual true complexity of said surface. If I untrim this, you'll notice that untrimmed boundary takes it all the way out. Okay, so that's what the fill surface has done. Again, very powerful, uh, in my estimation, one of the more powerful surface tools, but uh, kind of complicates things. So you're better off, again, trying to get this out to four sides and then splitting away what you don't need. And X. So we're going to go into surface. We're going to go into fill and pick the exact same boundaries. I made these curves and translated them out. So both systems are using the exact same elements. So here you can see my surface is done, created. Now, what you'll notice is that under shape control, I can come in here and specify different options for shape control. NX does not allow you to use a point. It's one thing it doesn't do that V5 does. So V5 has that on it, but I can use curves. So I can pick this curve and you'll notice that it goes through. I can pick multiple curves and it'll, it'll automatically fit to those curves similar to V5. Um, what other tools NX has are, you'll notice, I have fullness control. With fullness control, I have a offset. And with this offset, I can control the depth of that surface. So I can take this and drag that out. Another thing that I can do is I can drag this point, put it somewhere else on that surface that I want to do that offset. So I may not be able to pick a point to pass through, but I can offset at a location using that fullness tool. And this can go in either direction. Okay, so as you can see, very, very powerful tool. Another thing that it will allow you to do is fit to facet body. With the facet body, I may have curves on a STL and I want to draw a surface that goes through those curves and sits on that STL. So that allows me to do that. You'll notice that there's area of control, attraction, and so on. So it allows you to uh, basically put that surface down onto that STL. Now, one thing that you'll notice that in V5 didn't allow you to do that. V5 has other tools that allow you to do that. You have inside quick surface reconstruction, you have things like power fit. Um, and then in FSS or FSO, there's a, I don't have the license, but it allows you to do the same thing where you can pick a, uh, a curves or you can pick a STL and project a surface down onto those elements. Okay. So you have some of those tools in different areas. The other thing that I do have the capability of, and again, it's another license 
GSO, Generative Shape Optimizer, in V5 that allows you to uh, basically simulate what I've done here with uh, with my fill. Let me come in here. Let me make my fill surface actually, so I can show you uh, the complexity. Method. We'll go curve. Hit OK and cancel. Now, here you saw how complex the final fill surface was. So most everything that I have from one, I have in the other, and vice versa. Again, in V5, those tools are broken up. In NX, they put them all in one place. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, you know, you may not have uh, everything available to you here unless you have that uh, license. But you can do those things in V5. Now, uh, if I come in here, this is where I think NX does a better job. I'm going to go into analysis, pick my surface. I'm going to show poles. I'm going to show knots. Okay, so you can see here, if I were to untrim this, this is what that surface would look like. It's not as complex as the one coming out of V5. So in this case, this fill surface does a, does a little better job of making the initial base element, that hatch element. It doesn't extend it out. It doesn't drape it. It doesn't do all the, the crazy type of math that the, the V5 fill surface has done. So in this case, I think, and I think I should say I know that uh, the surface made from NX is going to be a little cleaner, a little simpler than the one in V5. They're both very capable. They're both extremely powerful. But uh, as far as one-stop shop, simpler tool, uh, you have more of that stuff available to you inside of NX. And again, now Katia can do the same things, but you need other licenses in order to do those things that you're able to do within the one tool in NX. So this round, my opinion, NX has it. Uh, the one thing that NX doesn't have is the ability to do the interior or inner boundaries. This is really, really nice. Um, it's a super uh, powerful tool. Now that they have it in there, I do use it. Um, I wish NX had that. Maybe it'll be something that they add eventually. But for now, you can't, unfortunately. But give it time. I'm sure it'll catch up. It'll get there. But uh, in this case, typically speaking, overall, I'd have to give it to the NX fill over the Katia fill. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already uh, subscribed. Share with your friends. And uh, um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Or as a lot of you do, direct message me however you want to get in touch. But again, thanks.